Welcome to another vlog from my home course Cosido in Düsseldorf, Germany. This whole one, which is roughly 500 yards, it's a little bit downhill. My aim here is to stay a little bit on the right, to go back on the fairway with my slice, but I went all the way left. I had a fairway, but it was not the fairway from hole one, it was rather the fairway from hole 18. So I picked up my 8 iron, getting over those trees, back on the fairway of hole one. Good shot. So here I'm out now, 100 yards, I would say it was, yeah, looking at my stats, yes, it was 100, 105 yards out. So I'm using my pitching wedge. I want to still stay kind of short, but you need to carry because of the bunker and the water, obviously. But a little bit left. Ended up in the fringe. But here, obviously, I'm using my putter. Well, not obviously, but I prefer my putter here, even so I could have used my 52, but uh, it should be my putt. So this is my first part of the day. Jesus, what a bad read. This was for birdie, by the way. So this is uh, now my par putt. Should be an easy putt. Made it. There we go, good start, par start, always good. Moving on to hole two, which is a par three, which is 180 yards. Today, uh, the tees were even further back, so it, today was kind of 185. But it rather plays, um, since it's downhill a lot, uh, like rather 165, using my six iron. I want to start on the left and then go back to the middle, but I stayed way much on the what? left. So there was a group in front of me, that's why I obviously I use four. So I ended up on the hill, which is like 30 yards, well, 20, 25 yards, using my 60 here. I wanted to run it in, bump it in, so it was intentional. I was very happy with it. So hopefully my second par of the day, which would be a great start. Specifically, I'm uh, my handicap is 18, by the way. Come on. Oh well, bad read. There we go. Bogey on hole two, which brings me to plus one. Moving on to hole three, which is a par four, 422 yards. Dog leg left. This is the hardest uh, hole on our course. It's very narrow. It opens up right after that, but there's a fairway, but you don't. This is for laying up that fairway, and then there's a little bit of water, and then there's another fairway, and you want to hit that second fairway. So my first drive wasn't good, so I wanted to do a good one and hit it perfectly. Absolutely perfect. went over the water right in the fairway this is absolutely prime position for hole three here so using my three wood this is all a little bit hectic i shouldn't have went changed my stance here as you can see i should have stayed a little bit more on the right yeah it was short on the left so i'm here i'm trusting my short game using my 60 and fly it up on the green. Super happy with the shot. As you can see, I was jumping to see if it actually went, how close it was. In the end, it was not that super close, but it was still, again, super happy with that shot. So this is for par, which is rarely for me here on this hole. I'm always super happy if I'm having a bogey here. And here, yeah, lip out, tap in bogey. This is always a typical way where you feel like you should be happy, but not. 
You can hold four, moving on. Par four, it plays um, 405 yards. Dog leg right. Uh, after that dog leg, it actually goes uphill. You want to stay on the right, left is water, a water hazard. So I'm always aiming for the tree on the hill. Hit it. I actually went through the tree, which is great. Then you usually um, get a bounce from the hill and back on the fairway. So again, prime position. This is absolute prime position on this hole. This is roughly 160 yards out, 155 yards out, using my six iron. Want to stay in the middle and go to the right, but I hit a little bit too much to the right, but I got a good bounce. Usually you get a bounce here also back to the, to the green. So I was pin high using my 52. I wasn't actually happy with that, as you can see, with that chip. I didn't hit it very, very well. Uh, again, as you can see, I didn't change the camera angle here because I, I wanted to skip the team in front of me. And I didn't make that part. Yeah, so it's another bogey. To actually, uh, but they never let me through. So unfortunately, I had to wait every single hole for five minutes. So this is hole five, par four, dog leg left. 320 yards. Finally, a hole for a, left, uh, for a lefty. So here I want to start uh, in the middle of the fairway and then go around the corner. And sometimes I'm trying to hit over the trees, but today finally, uh, finally I went uh, middle and then to the left because this is the perfect shot for a lefty. And nicely, but in the end it actually went still too much a little bit on, on the left, but I got a good bounce. I uh, had a 90 yard chip, which I didn't record. So I ended up on the green with my chip. Not as close as I wanted from 90 yards. So here we go for birdie. That's okay. That putt was okay. So short, but the line was also not that awesome. But I'm close to the hole, so I should be able to par it. The aim always on this hole is uh, to actually have a par. There we go. Part this hole. Moving on to hole six, which is a par three, which is uh, 185 yards. This is actually a fairly easy hole. But the challenge is it's just straight. And as we all know, no one actually hits straight. So using my uh, four iron here, or five iron, can't remember. A little bit too much to the left, hit it nicely. I hit the bunker on the left, but not in the bunker, but on top of the bunker. But I, however, unfortunately dropped down to the bunker again, the ball. So, a little nice day on the beach here. Keep it short. Yes, nicely. I was very happy with that uh, bunker shot, because I just wanted to get out because you don't have a, a lot of room to play with here. And again, with my handicap of 18, you, you're happy with that shot, obviously. Bad read. So another bogey. Moving on to hole seven, which is a 298 yard par four. It's uh, uphill. So I'd rather play 310. 
left us all out. And since my drive is always going a little bit, it starts straight and then goes a little bit left, just a little bit left. I always aim for those trees on the right there, on the hill. The drive went straight, which is great because this actually means I have more roll. So this is kind of like a 80 yard shot. So I'm using my, I think my 56. I thought I landed on the green. However, when I went to the green, I found out that I'm only on the fringe. So it's still a birdie opportunity. You always want to have a birdie opportunity on this hole. Come on, birdie. Yeah, lip out. Oh well, it's a tap in par should be happy with it. Moving on to hole eight, which is a par three. Uh, it plays, no, it actually is 136 yards. It's a little bit downhill, right in front of the green there is water. Left and behind is all out. Also, which is not shown on the hole plate, there's also bunkers right behind the green using my nine iron here and I hit it super nicely. So I was super, super happy with that shot. So birdie opportunity. Yeah, and the reminder, always repair your ball marks. Nicely done, Mark. And I took a little bit longer here for that putt because this was kind of like before I had already birdie opportunities, but they were not that clear birdie opportunities, I would say. So this is one which is doable. That should be pretty straight, but from camera perspective, it goes a little bit from the right to the left, but it's pretty straight still. So, come on. Yes, birdie time. Pumped for hole nine. Hole nine is a par four, 382 yards. Uh, today the tees were all the way even further, so it rather was 390 today, I would say. Uh, yeah, left is all out, right is all out. Then uh, when you see how you see there here, the fairway, it actually opens up a little bit. Uh, once the fairway starts, actually water hazard on the left. So I want to aim on the right here on the trees and then go a little bit left. But it went from middle to the right. But then it was good because I got a bounce on that hill. And then it always bounced to the left. This is again prime position also, by the way, which is great. I was very happy. So this is a 155 yard shot, seven iron I used. Also a little short. On the right, by the way, there's water also. There we go. Here for these kind of chips, I'm not using my 60, but my 52, because I feel that I uh, can aim better with the 52, specifically since I don't want to go high, so I'm just kind of bumping it on the green. So there we go, and uh, would have been fun to have a birdie, hole oh, nine as well, and end the day with it. So I feel so confident with the birdie before, before that I'm using my 52 to putt. Can I make it? Come on. Yes, I did. I was super happy he was around today. Uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll play again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.